Greetings and welcome to a quick tutorial on getting and using input using JavaScript. Um, so you'll notice I already have a web page set up here. This should center everything into uh, what we're working on. Um, eventually this is what the web page is going to turn into. You can check your age to see what uh, rating that you can see at a movie theater. So. We'll get set up with just some, some basic stuff. Again, all, all, all that CSS does center it. So we'll do our H1. Just let them know I'm going to check your age. And then, you know, uh, enter your age. And we do the input box. Type equals text. And then we've got to give it an ID so we can get the value of it. Just give it an ID of age. And then we have a BR there so it comes on the next line. And now we're just going to do a simple button. That's going to check it. We've got to give it an ID too so we can add an event listener to it. So let's give it just beat button for now. We can check. It doesn't really matter. Just need an ID, and then we add our script tag for the JavaScript. All right, real simple web page um, that should be all centered. It'll look something like this, um, with different words uh, this time. And now we need to go ahead and get some of the setup. So uh, let's go ahead and document, and we want to get uh, add the event listener to this. So element by ID and the button add event listener and then we need two things we're gonna listen for a click and we're gonna go ahead and do a function check age I right, know th this right here is not gonna do anything in fact we get an error if we run it but for now we're gonna go ahead and have that ready because we make the function check age and now it's no longer broken still not doing anything because we don't have anything in the function but uh, again, it's all set up for our function and what we are going to do is if um, and then go through that now let's go ahead and get the value so var age equals and because I want to type this all again I'm just going to copy the document part and in this case, age, and that's going to get the value. And to get the value, all right, this is the new thing. We're going right to get the value. You do dot value, so it'll get the value and put it there. So now we have age. So if age is greater than or equal to 18, right? You can write HR. So I'm going to do this as an alert. You can do this as a console log, but I don't feel like opening up the console log, so I'll just do this as alert. And then you can watch rated R. And I'm just going to copy this a few more times. And the last one is actually just going to be an else statement. All right, so PG13 is 13. So PG13. Um, we're going to do, I don't really know if this is true or not. We'll just say it's 10 for PG. And then else you watch G, right? So we also need to change these to else if. And then we have this in the correct order. Uh, because if you're 21, rated R, and then that's the only thing that'll run, right? If done, it won't show you a bunch of alerts. Um, if you're 15, you won't see this one. It'll pop up this one. If we had this reversed and had 10 at the top, we say you're 21, it's going to say you watch PG, and then it's done, right? So you've got to make sure you have that in the right order. Now, we have a problem here, and I did this on purpose. So I'm going to save this, and I'm going to refresh this. And again, it changed a little bit how I have it since. So let's type in 21 and check. Can watch rated G. That's not right. Now, what I could do here is alert or console log what age is, but I'll just explain it, right? This code runs at the beginning, the very beginning. So when you first run this page, what is the value here? Nothing, right? Nothing. So therefore, nothing is not greater than or equal to 18 or 13 or 10 so therefore you're getting that G because we have an else statement otherwise nothing would show up if we didn't have the else statement the key to this 
and I purposely did this because it's a huge mistake a lot of beginners do, is to put it down in here, and now every single time I click, it runs it, right? Every single time I click. So, first let's save this, and then let's refresh this, all right? So now has that new, uh, doesn't look like anything to happen, but do 21, rated R, let's do 13, because it's 13 or greater, PG 13, and we can see that now, Everything is working, although I probably should make that a capital G. And that's it, right? So again, you don't need the style. You could have this up at the top corner uh, if you're following along. But the key is, right, you give it the input. It needs the ID so you can get the input. But you need to put it inside the function or it runs at the same time, right? And then we add the event listener to the button. Again, we need the ID for that. And we can run through your if statement again, whatever you need to do, right? Any any type of different thing. So this was a quick example of checking age, um, especially if you do the code.org stuff. That's kind of what they have. So anyway, I just wanted to run through a quick example of getting that input and then you know doing something with it, right? Trying to evaluate what's going on and if it's going to work. That's all I have. I hope that was helpful.